guys, and we're gonna get out of here, man. Like uh, Eric Thomas said, we got about three minutes, three minutes. All right, so, a couple things you see here. Cold green, chase perfection. You guys write this down. Cold green, chase perfection, cold green. Everybody knows what it means, uh, what cold red is, right? What's cold red? When you hear cold red, what's cold red? It's like, it's like dangerous. Yeah, something like dangerous, you know, or like red stop signs, like stop. So basically, the meaning behind cold green is, what is green? Where the green light is go, right? To go, to go at light. If you, that's the way you live your life, you go, cold green. Everybody's gonna have obstacles in life, we all do. Still have, them. I still have them. every single day. Turn the car to the she has. But we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta hit it hard. So cold green. Write that down. Cold green. When you get up in the morning and you don't feel like getting up, cold green. When you got a, a test coming up, cold green. You know, when your parents need you to do something at home, you're like, oh, mom, damn, I'm good on that. <laughs> cold green. You know, saves you a lot of heartache and trouble, right? So remember that. Cold green, cold green. Now, 86,400, nobody can pull out any phones. 86,400, somebody tell me, tell me what this kind of correlates to. 86,000, this means something, 86,400. Yes, sir, ding, 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 ding. You guys hear that? No, I didn't hear 86,400 is how many seconds are in a day? What's you got 86,400. How did you know that? Cassie. Cassie got Mr. Big, I will be back. I yes. am going to get him Star No, I'm going to give him a Starbucks style. There it is. There it is. Uh, I, I, I promise you. I don't know. So my kids go over here. So, no, yeah, I just going to let him know. My kids go to street school across the street. I'm going to bring it back for him. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank so you. So we, we never, never get anybody that can answer that. <laughs> so I, I guarantee so if you go home and ask your parents, unless they can put a, Google it on their phone, they're not going to know. But like, we work with younger kids. I, I, that's like a pop quiz to my younger kids. A lot of my kids that are in my programs or our programs, you ask them, they don't know. But 86,400, that's how many seconds are in a day. So you guys hear, 24, I'm doing this 24-7. I'm doing, I'm, I, I'm going to go 24-7. I'm grinding 24-7. 86,400 seconds in a day. That's a lot of seconds, right? A lot, a lot of seconds. So those seconds are crucial. Like how you use those seconds is gonna determine what your next day is and how your next day goes. So think about that. You got 86,400 seconds. That's a lot of seconds there. You do a lot of stuff. So you can never say, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. Like, yes, you do, 86,400. You got time, right? You got time. So write that down, remember that. And I guarantee you go home and ask your parents, hey, mom, what's 86,400? You tell me what that is? That's how much money I like to have. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, it's the seconds of the day. So remember that, guys. Last thing is, Curtis and I, we have um, relationships with a lot of professional athletes. And you know to be a professional athlete, it takes hard work. It takes discipline. It takes dedication, determination. And we know a lot of those athletes. We could have been those athletes ourselves, but we didn't do what we were supposed to do in the classroom. All right, Curtis, he didn't tell you, his uncle is Billy White Shoes Johnson, played in the NFL, that's his uncle. You guys remember this, he spiked the ball and go like this? Yeah. Remember that? His uncle started that dance. <laughs> he started all the end zone dances all in the dance. NFL. He yeah. is, they say, the king of end zone dances. Uh, yeah, so that was a legacy that, that was placed upon me at a young age as well, trying to live up. So there's a lot of things when you know, we think about things and how we have to live up to different parents and different things. You know what I mean? You can't let that deter you. You know, be your own person. If you want to get out, change your culture. Change what you can change. Change what you can change. Don't stress about the things that you cannot. So, so again, I talked earlier about we have two organizations. Two dreams, achieve your champion. And it's amazing the two names of those organizations and how they come together. Like it was crazy the way they came together. I don't have time to that story. Achieve Your Champion, the founder of Achieve Your Champion is a good buddy of mine. His name is Michael Booker. He uh, went to El Camino High School uh, in 97. 97, excuse me, he was drafted to the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, 97. He was in the first round, 11th pick, first round. He's now retired in Texas. The last team he played for was Tennessee Titans. So he came to me and said, you know, I know what you're doing with your dream. I would like you to like, run my organization. The team back home. So that's why I do keeping your champion. Any 
anything in life, being a professional athlete, like I said, you, you gotta work hard. Like, a lot of people don't make it to be professional athletes. Very rare. A friend of mine, a good friend of mine, his son just got drafted. See, I got all the 49ers here. His son just got drafted to the 49ers this year. Third round out of BYU. He graduated in three years, all right? Went to the NFL as a rookie, third round. First week of the NFL, Sunday, uh, he started as linebacker, middle linebacker, number 48. Awesome football. Mark. He had a draft party. My friend had a draft party yeah. in his house. I was at, I was able to take my kids to it. And I don't know if you guys ever seen on TV how the guy sitting on the couch with his family and he's waiting for it, to get that phone call and say, we're drafting. We were right there when it happened. That's surreal. And for my kids to see that, it's like, you can do it, right? You dream, like I said, dream big. And he saw firsthand what hard work. My boys were able to see. That's what I, I thank my friend for letting me come over and bring my boys over. My boys got to see what hard work does. What hard work does. So work hard. Um, last but not least, uh, I'm just gonna say thank you guys for allowing us to come in. Thank you, Mr. B. This is a great opportunity. This is the first time we got a chance to speak to high school kids.